Hello there and a very good evening. Shocking images of a drowned Salvadoran migrant and his two-year-old daughter who died while trying to cross the Rio Grande River from Mexico to the United States have sparked outrage underscoring the dangers faced by asylum seekers. Based on a report from a Mexican court, 25-year-old Oscar Martinez Ramirez fled El Salvador with his 21-year-old wife and their daughter and decided to cross the Mexican River to the U.S. on Sunday afternoon. In his attempt to cross the river, Ramirez, who stowed her little girl inside his T-shirt to keep her safe, was swept away by, by violent current, drowning before her mother's eyes, who survived the ordeal and arrived on shore. The two bodies were found on Monday in Matamoros in Tamaulipas State. The unfortunate incident has stirred anger in El Salvador and Mexico, where the government had faced sharp criticism for its treatment of migrants. On Tuesday, the Mexican leader said the 15,000 troops his government has deployed to the U.S. border do not have stops, do not have orders to stop migrants from crossing, and vowed to investigate the controversial detention. One of the world's most hazardous volcano, Ulawun, spewed ashes on Wednesday in Papua New Guinea, turning the sky dark, sending residents fleeing, and prompting an eruption warning. According to Leo Porikura, an official with the West New Britain Disaster Office, the volcanic activity at Mount Ulawun began at 7 a.m. this morning after slight rumbling and light emission. Porikura said the Rebaul Volcano Observatory has declared a Stage 1 alert warning of a possible eruption. The darkened emission of the volcano, which indicates its high ash content, according to the Rebaul, According to the Rebaul Volcano Observatory, can cause breathing problems, eye irritation and skin irritation due to the high acid content. Porikura said a disaster team had been dispatched to the area and people living in the vicinity of the volcano had been instructed to move away to safer areas. Ten illegal immigrants died and 30 were injured on Wednesday when the driver of a packed minibus refused an order to stop and crashed into a shop in northwest Turkey. Based on a statement from the office of the governor of Edirne province, the driver ignored an order by a security official to halt, speeding up instead and crashing into a shop near the Greek border. The private DHA news agency said there were 40 people in the minibus and the nationality of the illegal immigrants was not known. Migrants fleeing war and poverty have used Turkey as a transit country to try and reach Europe. And that ends the English news for today. I'm Shira Abang Manso for TV Sarawak. Thank you for watching.